Hi, in this video I am going through some of the questions that you guys have either left in my YouTube comments, TikTok or Instagram. It's how to be a probation officer on all of those channels. Um, so here is what I'm going to address. Should I become a probation officer is such a shit show. <laughs> right, so obviously I, if you've watched my videos or if you're new here, I worked as a probation officer and I left. I left in 2020. I have dipped in and out doing agency work, but I'm gonna break down if you should go into it, if it's a shit show. This is kind of why I share the videos, because I want you to really know the reality of what the job is like. Yes, I help people get into it, because there are always gonna be people that this is your dream job and you really want to get into it. And then there'll be some people that once you've heard some stuff, you're like, nah, it's not for me. And that's okay, we are all different. So, being a probation officer, why might someone think it's a shit show? <laughs> because it is consistently short-staffed. It's a bit like it's public services. It's a bit like NHS, the doctors, when you go to the hospital. Any public service that you deal with at the moment is short-staffed. You know, that's a whole nother thing um, that the people at the top deal with so us lot who are on the front line do bear the brunt of it so how does that play out in your job well that means that you have high case loads 40 plus if you're full-time so that means you've got 40 people that are in prison and on probation that you need to supervise you need to manage their risks you need to build a relationship with them you need to prepare for their release you need to um, manage them once they're released. You need to maybe send them back to prison if they break their probation requirements. So that's a high volume of work that you are constantly doing. So if you want a job that is challenging, yeah, you will get that. If you want a job that's gonna push you, yeah, you're gonna get that. If you want a job that's not boring, yeah, you're gonna get that. And that is exactly what I wanted in a job. When I first started out, I enjoyed the fact that it's going to be fast paced, that it's going to be challenging, that it's going to push me. I had so many jobs before where I was like admin, receptionist, where I was bored out of my brains. Um, some people are just attracted to that excitement of things and it's the right season in their life to be doing that. The reason I left is because it didn't feel the right season of my life to be under so much strain consistently on a regular basis because I had two young children and I'd also found this venture of developing my own tutoring and coaching business. It just wasn't the right time to be doing everything. Again, it's a very personal decision. Know what you're getting into. But then balance that out, okay? I know there's lots of other careers out there that are high pressured and challenging. I don't know if you know anyone that works in sales, that's high pressured and challenging. Anyone that works in the NHS, high pressured, challenging. So you really have to be aware that yes, it is gonna be high pressured and challenging. And is that something you want to do? Maybe like me, I said, yeah, I wanna do this, but from what I've seen and experienced from seeing other probation officers, I'm only gonna do it five years. And I'm proud of myself because I stuck to that. Um, so commit to yourself. Think, okay, yeah, it's something I want to do and then move on to something else. Or, yeah, it's something that I actually want to try. And um, there are ways to manage it. I've done lots of videos on how to look after your mental health doing this job. So make sure you check those out. The staffing is an issue and it does have a knock-on effect on your the tasks that you have to be doing and the amount of work that you have to be doing. There is lots of um, form filling, assessments, written tasks that maybe if you are more of a people person that wants to work with people, um, you may find yourself doing a lot more of the written stuff than the people stuff. But again, if you just do people stuff, that's more of a mentoring and volunteering role and it's not gonna attract the same salary. Another thing that you might think is a shit show is there's just organization 
it's not as organized in certain offices so it depends what office you go to again a lot of it is due to staffing if they are cutting admin that means you as a probation officer have to do admin tasks as well as all your other work so I guess it does come down to staffing so those of you who want to make a difference um, get yourself to the top so you can start making these differences in like policy and government um, because I feel like that's where you're going to get the real change um, so yeah is it a shit show yes <laughs> my personal opinion um, does that mean that there's not people that still want to go into it of course there's always going to be people that like a challenge that no matter what other people's experiences are they still want to get into it and I was one of those people I knew what I was getting into I worked for probation in lots of different other roles um, so yeah that's another thing is if you can get experience in other public sector organizations it doesn't have to be probation or prison so you can just see how other organizations operate and how other organizations deal with these challenges so I hope that helps you um, with this question I'm sure maybe loads of probation officers will be commenting on this saying yeah it's a shit show <laughs> so let me know put your comments below how you're actually managing through this and um, yeah I'll see you in the next video oh also one last thing to help you deal with this shit show check out my book success on probation a step-by-step -step system to reform your life and release yourself from your mental jail maybe I should retitle it how to get through the shit show of being a probation officer mm -hmm.